Welcome to this Application Express development team video on Application Express 5.0 and Page Designer Property Editor. I currently have a modified version of Page 7 from the sample database application loaded up into the Page Designer. I'm just going to use this splitter and move it to the left so that I can see more of the Property Editor. The editor itself shows all the attributes for the currently selected component. At the moment I've got the page selected so it's showing me all of the common page attributes. If I select on the show all, it will show me all of the attributes. And if I update one of them, for example, the alias here to cast, and then go back to show common, then you'll notice that page alias is showing because of the fact that it's been modified from its default value. When I change focus, for example, by clicking in the rendering here and selecting the region customer, the attributes change to the selected component. I can also utilize the grid layout and I select this phone here and you'll see that it's now showing phone number two. I'm just going to click on show all and now I'm going to collapse all of the accordions. Reason being, I want to go straight down into condition here and I want to change this type to be a PL SQL expression. So you'll see that it's come up with red in the grid layout and this message. The reason is that I actually need a condition there. In fact, if I click on help, you'll see that there's help for the type. There's also help at the bottom of the property editor, which I can just drag up as well. This is one of the areas where we're after advice from EA1 participants to tell us which one of the two ways of displaying help they would prefer. I'm just gonna hide this one for now. If I go into the PL SQL expression itself, then I can type directly into that particular field. I can also utilize a modal window by just clicking in here. And this modal window allows me to type in SQL and HTML or whatever is required. I can also validate it. And the second option here for editing large amounts of text is this text editor in the middle. So I'm just going to make this bigger so we can see it. I can actually start typing into here. For example, I'm going to put in P7 underscore P. And then I'm going to use control space to access the auto completion. And I want phone number one. So I'll just use that is not null. You'll notice that it's actually doing syntax highlighting for me. I also have the ability to validate from this region as well. So once again, we're after the EA1 participants to tell us which way they prefer to actually modify a large amount of code, whether it be in the text editor within the middle here, or alternatively within the pop-up modal window. So I'm just going to close that one. Now, if I bring the left-hand panel back in and I can see my rendering, I'll just make it a bit bigger again. I want to actually select both the phone numbers. I'm just holding down the control key, selecting both of them. I'm just going to expand it out. What you'll notice is that some of the fields have these little triangles at the front and the values themselves are shaded in blue. That indicates that the values between the selected components is different. If they're not shaded, then they're exactly the same. For example, the input mask and the placeholder is the same on both of these. And I can use this capability to update multiple components at once. For example, for these two phone numbers, I want to change the placeholder from an underscore to an asterisk. I can also select different types of components. For example, if I also select the customer, then it only shows attributes which are common across all of the selected components. So basically the sequence, grid components, etc., are being shown. Now you'll notice that there's a little triangle here for start new row. The reason for that is if we go and have a look in our grid layout, that the phone number two here is actually on the same line, so that's set to no. I'm just gonna go and change that to yes, and immediately you'll see within the grid layout that it's now dropped that item down below this one here. I can actually save those changes. The reason I can't run directly from this page is because of the fact it's a modal page. So in order to actually run it, I would have to go back to page two, which is the interactive report for customers, and then run it from there. So thank you very much for watching this video.